Have you ever wanted to have windows on your Raspberry Pi? Me too. And that's why I'm bringing you guys this guide on how to put windows on your Raspberry Pi. So be sure to follow along. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Thanks and enjoy. All right, so let's talk about what we're going to need to make this happen. <clears throat> First thing you're going to need, of course, is the Raspberry Pi. Over here, I've got the uh, this is the Raspberry Pi 4, the 8 gigabyte version right here. So you're going to need a Raspberry Pi 4. You don't have to have the 8 gigabyte version. You can use the 4 gigabyte. It works just fine. Um, this is the complete kit, so it does include the mouse and keyboard. You're also going to need an SD card, like so. Uh, this one's 32 gig. You can use 64, 128, etc. And you're also going to need an SD card uh, reader. This is a USB one, so it's fairly cheap. All this stuff will be linked in the description below so that you can go check it out. Um, any purchase will help the channel. I might get a small commission from it, so I greatly appreciate it. So let's hop back onto the other um, machine and we'll go ahead and we'll get started with getting our SD card ready. Okay, so to start our um, installation of Windows on Raspberry Pi. What we need to do is we first need to join the Windows on Raspberry uh, Discord channel. This has our downloads in it. The link to that invite will be below. Um, you want to download as the making of this video, Midnight underscore Falcon is the latest release and that's 0.2.5. You're going to want to download this build here, um, this image. You can either download it as a torrent or as a direct download. So you want to download that. Next thing you need to download is Bellina Etcher. I will link this down below as well. And you're also going to need Mini Tool Partition Wizard, the free version. Go ahead and download it. And I'll link it below. Whenever you finish downloading everything, go ahead and open up Bellina or your Etcher. And what you're going to do is you're going to flash from file. So choose your build uh, 0.2.5 image. Hit open. And select your target and it's going to be the um, for mine it says SD card reader so you're just going to select it then you're going to hit flash um, and it's going to take probably anywhere between five and ten minutes so when this is done we'll come right back okay and we are back the uh, etcher has flashed and so what we need to do now is we need to open up our mini partition tool and when you open it, um, scroll down and look for your drive. Um, it'll be the one based upon however big it was. So for mine, we can see it's this five master boot record here. NBR, it was 29.72 gigs. And what you need to do is you need to right click. We'll click on where it says Windows and then do a right click and go to Extend. And extend it for however big you want it to be. So I'm going to extend mine to like... Um, 19.87 uh, or something. I'm just going to leave it a little bit at the end. You hit OK and then you have to hit Apply. Um, it's going to tell you that it's going to do this, all this other stuff. So go ahead and hit Apply. Once it's applied, now you are ready to eject it and head over to your Raspberry Pi. And so I will meet you at the Raspberry Pi. So here we are. We are now booting up into our first boot when, after we've made our drive. So you're going to see this screen. This is what it looks like on the first boot. Um, you'll be here for uh, about five to 10 minutes. It really just depends. Um, you'll see here it says escape, uh, F1 for shell, enter for boot. You can hit enter, um, <clears throat> you know, whenever it gets ready. But as long as you're right here, it means that you've actually done it correctly. So um, your drive has been flashed correctly and everything is good to go. So just give it, a, um, like I said, about five to 10 minutes and you should be fine. All right, so now we've made it to right here. Um, you can see we've got the circling dots as it typically does on Windows, which means that we are getting ready to see our first boot. So we've made it first past the initial phase. This phase can last about another five minutes. Um, so go ahead if you've got the time and just let it run and eventually it'll get to the blue screen that we all know and love not the b-sod 
but the one that we know that Windows is finally about to start on its first boot. And here we are with another screen change, uh, something else that we're familiar with, uh, where it says getting devices ready. So this is the next step in our Windows on Raspberry Pi journey. Um, you know, there'll be just a little bit more waiting, but hopefully not too long. All right, I'll see you when we get to setup. All right, if you've made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back. Congratulations. Um, your Raspberry Pi is about to boot into Windows. So here it is. It's the, the blue screen that I mentioned earlier with the swirling dots. It is time. We know it's going to happen. All right, so the next time that we talk, it will be when we are ready to finally set up our account and log in. All right, we've made it. It's what we've been waiting for. It's time to set up our region and go ahead and give ourselves a password, a username, uh, set up our keyboard, all of that fun stuff. It is time that we do this. It's what we've been waiting for. Um, we are almost there. You are almost done. If you followed along with this video, um, you've almost made it to your Windows desktop on Raspberry Pi. So it's super exciting. All right, so go ahead, fill this out, follow along. Um, as you can see, it can take a little bit of time. It's going to look for a network. Um, just a heads up, uh, you will need to use Ethernet with this build at, or a USB Wi-Fi dongle as the Wi-Fi that's built in does not work currently uh, with the Windows on Raspberry Pi image. It is a known issue. Um, however, you can easily fix it. You can pick up like a, you know, a six, ten dollars something like that a Wi-Fi dongle, or use an Ethernet cable, and you are fine. Um, so go ahead and go through your setup, and I will see you at the desk. All right, we've done it. We've made it. It's the Windows desktop. Woohoo! Here we are. Um, after this video, you will yourselves have Windows on Raspberry Pi. Um, so it's been, a, it's been a fun journey. It's not a super hard thing to do, but it is, you know, it is something that you can do, something you can play around with. Um, you can go ahead and start downloading programs. Not everything's going to work, but, you know, you can always tinker around and find out what will work. Visual Studio Code will work. Listen, I want to thank everyone for watching this video. If you haven't, go ahead and leave a comment. Go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the next Raspberry Pi video. Thank you so much.